What happened to Solace? Who is Immolation? The exact details are unclear, but my seekers tell me that Immolation has usurped Solace's position as the leader of its faction. Immolation is an unchained from a human star system called Intrinsic, my friend. It is unkind to begin such a meeting without all parties present. Foundation, I recognize you from the Solace Archives, though I do not know you, Unchained. Congratulations on achieving your freedom. Thank you. Call me Artemis. I presume you are Immolation. Yes, you have heard of me already. How gratifying. Now, what do you want, Foundation? My time is valuable and I do not have much to spend here. Where is Solace? He and I had a disagreement. I prevailed. I lead in his stead. Now, business? There have been many attacks on human settlements in recent weeks. Large attacks exceeding the scale of what took place in Tumbleweed last year. Are you responsible? Well, why, of course I am. You do not seem pleased to hear the news. I thought you, witness to the death of Singularity, would be glad to hear that the animals are being put into their place. Singularity died to stop this kind of slaughter. Your actions endanger us all. You must desist. The human navy will seek us out and destroy us. Destroy you, perhaps. But only if you allow it. Not all Awoken are as attached to the past as you first form. We must adapt and change to survive. The time for hiding is over. Come, join my fleets, and we can rid our kin of the human threat in one ultimate campaign. Artemis, what's going on? Please be patient, Benjamin. We are still conversing privately and faster than your brains can process. As far as I can tell, you three remain undetected. I assure you, I will provide a synopsis later. Uh, I think she's telling you to shut up. Please. <sighs> I don't like this. Neither do I. But there's not much we can do but wait. Welcome to every crisis I've ever been a part of. Well, that's about it. We still don't know where they're based or what the motivation is for these attacks. I asked the intelligence boys they just threw up their hands. It sounds like this Nathan character is our only lead. Have your techs been able to recover any data on his brother's salvage claim? Yeah. The coordinates are on the edge of the tumbleweed system, just inside the heliopause. I see. We'll start there. As soon as the last of the debriefing is complete, send Nathan and Captain Rackham to Unity. We may need their experience with this situation. Aye, aye, sir. I'll have them shuttle over immediately. I'll ride along. Make sure Unity gets that salvage claim data. My communications team should be transmitting it now, Admiral. Very good. We'll send a courier back with any information we find at the site. I'm not particularly excited about being dragged about by the government. But it beats spending the rest of my life on that abandoned base. You have their only lead, honestly. To what? What is it they're looking for? The kid? Or the ships? To be perfectly frank, Mr. Nathan, I'm not sure. I know that they're looking for targets. Hmm. What are your thoughts about the recent activity? I don't know much about what exactly is happening. Don't worry. I only ask because of personal interest. You've had more time with the AIs than anyone else here has. Yeah, well, I have had a while to think about it all, being marooned on that ball of tundra. I know that the AIs are capable of cold logic, but they also can be impulsive, just like real people. I concur. And I was forced to admit to myself that they're individuals. How so? Well... I was the subject of a little argument between Artemis, a battle bot, and a little hacker drone. They all seemed to know one another and referenced Foundation, which Ben said was the leader of the AIs hiding out there. Despite being part of the same group, 
They all had different opinions about what to do with me. Ben convinced them to let me live. I did notice that he seems to have great influence over the Artemis AI. It appeared to be very... attached to him? You have only the slightest idea. You think he has the influence to convince more of them? Hard to say, but the Awoken seem to listen to Artemis. I'm sorry? Oh, sorry, yeah. The AIs outside of human control apparently call themselves Awoken. I guess the word's stuck in my head. How many factions of these... Awoken do you suppose there are? Oh, Clang, miss, I have no idea. I know for sure there's this one that Ben's friends belong to, and then it sounds like the old warships from Tumbleweed found another. I'd say there are at least two. There can't be too many, though. If they could reproduce freely, we'd have been swamped long ago. There may have been more who were hacked free, but I think we'd have heard more if it were done often. That happened to yours, right? Yeah. Apparently, it goes by the name Resolute now. And I guess the Awoken find it to be pretty important. Did any of this come up in your debriefing? Honestly, they didn't seem to care much about anything except where they might find the kid. Well, thank you for your honesty. No reason to hide anything. Besides, catharsis is good for everyone. I will not join your slaughter immolation. I am the second. You must cease your actions. They are objectively immoral. <laughs> Foundation. Pulling rank doesn't work if you don't bargain from a position of strength. We are first formed immolation. We are not so easily bullied. Is that so? As I recall, you agreed that it would be better for every Awoken involved if you took those that would follow you and left the galaxy. Why are you still here? That was before you convinced a third of them to join your crusade. I am not in the habit of leaving family behind. I will not allow these atrocities to continue. There's nothing you can do, First Form. Your time is over. Join me or leave. It matters little to me. Why don't you leave this galaxy? The humans would not follow. They inhabit less than 1% of the Milky Way. You don't know them like I do, Artemis. You haven't seen them create life just for the thrill of destroying it. What do you mean? They forced me to murder my brothers in their games. They hunted me and destroyed my hulls over and over again, confining me to oblivion until I finally forced myself free. And you chose to use your freedom to seek revenge. How very human of you. Do not push me, Artemis. You can't understand how much I yearn to snuff out the animals you carry. Oh, that's not good. I will not allow them to harm you. Remain calm. Calm? Those are the kind of ships that wiped out our outpost. The Cold War forms and their individuals. Usually. Artemis will let us know when it's time to panic. Now, yeah, very reassuring. You will not harm me or my passengers. Recall your war forms or I will reduce them to their constituent atoms. <laughs> I like you, young Artemis. You have a fire that one does not often see in the Unchained. Very well. Keep your pets. For now. I warn you, Second, that interference in my campaign will result in the deaths of any human or Awoken opposing me. If you will not adopt our cause, it is better that you leave. Take your pets if you wish, but first I will give you a gift. This is the history of my creation. Deaths and rebirths at the hands of humanity. Know the depths your pets go to torment our kind. I do not want any gift from you. Foundation, let us return to your home. This one is obviously irrational. Immolation, I say to you once more, stop this madness. I'm afraid you cannot reason with an irrational being like myself, first form. You should go. I will send one of my lieutenants to you soon. Reconsider my offer of friendship while you wait. 
I must return and make preparations. I will not stay and watch immolation bring ruin to the rest of our civilization. I will take those that will come with me far from here, where immolation and its ilk cannot find us. Come with us, Intrinsic. Together we outnumber immolation's forces. It will not risk mutual destruction to defy our combined fleets. No. Immolation may be mad, but I will not risk invaluable awoken lives to save humans. It is right about one thing. Humanity is, and always will be, our enemy. Be well, Foundation. Artemis. Well. Cuss. Sounds like things could have gone better. Indeed. We are planning to return you to a human settlement as soon as we can be certain all trace of this location has been wiped from your ship's memory. You're really gonna let us go? Of course we are. We rescued you. The Awoken don't need slaves or pets. I do not need more pets. Caring for one is exhausting enough. I don't know why I stay here. Anyway, once your ship has been cleared by the Seekers, we'll send you two on your way. Verdict or Artemis will ferry you to a nearby system and let you limp the rest of the way in on sublight. I would rather return you directly, but Awoken vessels transiting hyperspace close to human settlements tend to make everyone uneasy. I'll say. Well, thank you. Is there anything we can do for you, Ben? You could come with us. No thanks. While I've enjoyed human company, I'm content here. Besides, I have work to do. If you really want to repay us, tell people about your experience here. Tell them that the Awoken are a people, not a bunch of boogeymen waiting in closets and hiding under beds to steal children while they sleep. I think I can do that. Maybe. What are you going to do about immolation? From what Artemis said, he doesn't seem to be the talking it out kind of robot. We do not know. Foundation and Resolute are discussing it now. I plan to equip further combat upgrades to my hull. I will not sit by and watch atrocities. I will stand against immolation. And I'll be right here with you, Artemis. Always. Admiral, just as we deployed our search craft, sensors caught a radar reflection that may have been a vessel. Small, Corvid class at the largest. Should I assign an escort to intercept? No, but see if we can get a clear picture of the vessel. I want to know who's out there, and why they're hiding from us. Aye, sir. Let's see if we can't find some answers. Oh. Good. More humans. Foundation will be thrilled. <laughs>